Hello! I'm here today to hopefully do a pretty quick review of a non-fiction title. This is 33 Artists in Three Acts by Sarah Thornton. Now I've talked about this book a couple of times, I've mentioned it in previous videos. Uh, it took me quite a long time to read because I was reading it for review and I got part way through and wrote the quick review and then set it aside because I had other books to read. It only needed to be a quick burst of enthusiasm because it was for the Christmas catalogue at the bookshop where I work. So the basic premise of this book is that it is a series of conversations that the author has with various artists. Sarah Thornton is the author of a few books. Uh, she's quite well known I believe for writing Seven Days in the Art World, which I have not read and this was my first experience with her. The reason it's called 33 Artists in Three Acts is that there are 33 artists and the structure of this book is like a play. The play has three acts and within each act there are scenes and each scene talks about usually just one artist but sometimes it talks about more than one. For instance if she's talking about an exhibition opening or something then there is more than one artist present. I didn't have many expectations going into this. I heard from a colleague that they had enjoyed Seven Days in the Art World. As a recovering art history student I'm quite used to reading fairly dry texts about artworks and this was certainly not one of those texts. I found it to be a really novel way to approach talking about modern art and basically handing it over to the artists themselves to talk about it. She says at the beginning how she chose the artists that she interviewed. She asked a whole lot of contemporary artists what is art and chose the people to interview depending on how good their answers were. That level of curation really comes across because all of these artists have really interesting things to say. As I've said before I do not know that much about contemporary art. In my studies I focus more on earlier artworks. However I was familiar with some of the names in here and you probably recognize names such as Damien Hirst and Jeff Koons. To be honest they weren't the ones that I found most interesting and that's one of my main criticisms of of this book. The ones that most fascinated me only had one scene. Some of the artists that I would have liked to have heard a bit more from were Lena Dunham, Yayo Kusama and Marina Abramovic. I know that the contemporary art world is more male-centric but I would have liked to have heard a bit more from these female artists who I think had some really interesting things to say. I should maybe note that there are also some illustrations in here at the beginning of each chapter. There is a work by that artist that is featured and some of them are films so you get stills from them. This is Lena Dunham's scene and we have a still from her film tiny furniture. Anyway I'd say if you want to learn more about the contemporary art world this is probably a quite a good place to start. It's very accessible and very readable because of this conversational style. Anyway I liked this book, it was quite refreshing, there were a few things I would change but I, I would recommend it for people wanting to learn more about the contemporary art world. Anyway that's my review of 33 Artists in Three Acts by Sarah Thornton. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. See you next time, bye!